Hey guys, so today is, I'm going to be showing you an eyeshadow tutorial and it's for this look, which is a purple and silver look. I ha took some pictures so that you all can see what it looks like a little bit better, but um, that's a look to match this outfit with uh, these earrings that I made. Okay, so if you like the uh, video or if you like the look, make sure to stay to see the tutorial. Thank you guys, bye. This tutorial is for beginners because I'm a beginner and I thought beginners for beginners. Maybe that would be easier because sometimes I know when I used to look at uh, videos, I really didn't know what some of the people were talking about. So I thought this might be helpful. Hey guys, okay, so hopefully this looks better. I'm gonna show you all the products that I'm going to use and then what I've already used underneath my eyes. I've used the um, e.l.f. Corrective Concealer and it has four colors. I used the, um, the green in the middle and then the two, <laughs> camera's backwards, so I'm kinda used to trying to do this or not used to doing this. And then the two colors on the side, which are skin tone colors. So I use that underneath my eyes. I did the green first and then I did the lighter of the two or the one that's closest to the green and then this one. And then I um, followed up with my Bare Minerals um, found or concealer and it's Honey Bisque. And then on top of that, I put the e.l.f. Um, press powder it says clarifying press powder and this is in honey I didn't use the little sponge or the pad applicator that came with it I used a brush and just put that underneath so that's that and now so the look that I'm going to do is just uh, two simple colors the silk like grace gray uh silver color and then purple and so i'm using from two palettes the uh pro food profusion and this is the brightening eyes palette and i'm going to be using that gray right there and this is it doesn't have a name or anything. Actually, it did, but I took the sticker off. So sorry. But I got this from Walgreens, I believe. And then I'm also going to be using this. And I believe I got this from the dollar store, maybe. Or no, I might have gotten this from um, Ross. So I'm going to be using this. It just says Blush Cosmetic Palette. I don't know who it's by, but... I'm going to be using this purple right there. Alrighty. And it says style number B092, so I don't know if that's the number for it or not. And then uh, the brushes I'm going to be using are just two e.l.f. brushes. The professional eyeshadow brush. And then the e.l.f. Eye, uh, professional defining eye brush. Which is just the angled brush. And then the this is just like an all over brush. And then I'm going to use um, the eye light primer by e.l.f. as well. And I think this is just the normal color. So you just want to put the um, eyelid, the um, pr eyelid primer all over your eyelid, and then a little in the crease area. Then you just use your finger to blend it in. Sorry, guys, and so you can't see it anymore. 
I'm looking to the mirror, so I'm sorry. But. Sorry about that. I keep forgetting to look into this camera. Okay. So once you have that all blended in really good, I'm going to take the um, silver color, like that dark grayish metallic type silver color. And my camera isn't showing it too well, but I'm going to take the... Um, eyeshadow brush and just rub over it and then I'm going to put that over my entire eyelid And so for those who don't know, the um, eyelid primer is supposed to keep the shadows from creasing and fading. Which I normally don't have too much problem with um, creasing or fading. But I decided to use it anyway. Okay. Then just do the other eye. Sorry that I'm looking at the time. I have to get out of here in 10 minutes Okay, so there you have that. And then what, <clears throat> excuse me, what I normally do is just wipe it off on my hand. Some people use wet wipes, and I used to do that, but it wets the brush, and then when you put in another color, it doesn't, it'll come out different than what it actually is, which, I mean, that's fine if that's the look that you're going for, but I don't want the wet eyeshadow look. So, or you can just do it on a piece of tissue, but... Just, I just do it on my hand and so now I'm going to take from that purple on the end it's just like a dark purple it's not too dark it's just like a regular purple so good enough on my brush and then I'm going to put it right there in the corner and then halfway through Okay, and so then I just take this brush to um, just go in it and get it a little in the crease. And you want to take the angle part, the highest part of the angle, and get it, get the eyeshadow on that part, and then just go from the corner into the crease. Sorry, it's kind of hard for me to do this backwards in this mirror um, in this screen so then you just want to I take this same brush and just blend it in towards the uh, the silver because I want more of the purple than the silver okay let me I'll have to look at this to see
<laughs> that made it worse. Okay, and I have the uh, e.l.f. makeup remover pen, but before I had that, just to get like the little area, the fallout and the, you know, the extra that got over there that you don't want, I used to use a face cloth and just do that. Or you can use a uh, wet wipe or makeup remover. A makeup remover um <laughs> like a wet wipe a makeup remover cloth so you do that get that all off I'm gonna use this because this is easier and it's more precise Okay, and guys, I have to go get the uh, mascara that I'm going to use off of Okay, the mascara that I'm going to be using, and the words are wore off by now, but it's the L'Oreal Bare Mineral uh, Natural, I think it's, or Bare Natural, <laughs> sorry, Bare Natural by L'Oreal. Um, and I got this from the dollar store, but this is my favorite mascara, and I only bought one because I didn't know if I was going to like it, excuse me, didn't know if I was going to like it. Of course, they don't have any more. But this is my favorite. And that's just a normal brush. But you really only need one coat of this. I put two sometimes. And with it almost being gone, I have to use two now. I'm going to take a picture so you all can see this better so you can't really see the difference of the mascara. Or you can't really see yeah, my the difference of my eyelash on this camera. I really like this because it really extends your lash and it's not really, it doesn't give that some, you know, that clump that you can get on some, from some mascaras. Alrighty, I don't put um, eyeliner on because I don't know how to use it. And I also don't put the mascara on my bottom lash just because I don't like the way that looks. But so that's the look. Just a quick, easy look. Um, and oh yeah, I wanted to show you the lip gloss that I, that I put on. The uh, e.l.f. 2-in-1 Conditioning Gloss. And it's in uh, Plum, I believe the box says, or Plumtastic is the name of it. On this, it says purple, though. And I got this from the Dollar Tree. And so now I'm going to just take, uh, it's an Echo Tooth angled eyeliner brush. 
and get my eyebrows. Alrighty, so that's the um, finished look. Hope you guys like it. Please rate, comment, and uh, subscribe and leave any suggestions that you may have for me. Thanks. Bye.